Hey everybody, uh, Bear Pig Man here. I'm back with Max again. Hey. Going for uh, you know part two, Illusion of Gaia. So when we last left off, we were in Itori Village. Right. And uh, it's been a while, actually. Yeah, it has been. It's been, a, been about a month since our last update. Yeah, I think we just got out of that dungeon. Uh, yeah, we had just gotten out of the prison, and we had traveled to Lily's Village. Where, uh, our grandpa and grandma were there. Um, right. Yeah, what was what was the deal exactly? Like, they... They had been chased out of their home by, uh, Jackal. Oh, right. Who was That's initially right. the Black Panther. And then they fed him something, and he had some sort of bow obstruction. They managed to give dysentery, I think, to two of the guards by giving them a marsupial pie. That's right. Some, some crazy shit like that. So, um, we're pretty much allowed to explore Itori Village on our own, but first, oh, there's a, a there's one red jewel in this town. What a what an obscure place. What a non non like nondescript. There they are in more obscure places. We will actually see one of the uh, two of the other toughest ones in this uh, this update. But before we continue with Itori Village, let's actually go back to South Cape because Jeweler Gem is not in Itori Village. Oh, okay. But now that we have eight gems, we can actually get something from him, and it will come into play and helping us out oh. in the dungeon we're about to go into. All right. So our life points are going to be raised. Nice. And uh, yeah, just did a little fast travel there to cut that cut that out. Cool. But let's just see what the other uh, other members of Itori Village have to say. Ink and gold. That's correct. We That's are pretty cool. much. Uh, the next big temple that we're going to be going into is the Incan Ruins, and they talk a lot in this part about, um, you know, the Incans and, um, you know, the Spanish conquistadors who felt that the Incans were hiding gold, or, uh... So this is, this is on Earth, technically? Yeah, yeah this is actually taking place during the time of exploration. Huh. So one thing I uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video or not, but um, if someone says something to you and it you know they don't continue it, yeah, you can cancel out of their text by pushing left or right oh. or any button. So there's a couple times in this game where I accidentally cut out a line of dialogue. It's almost always a "Come here, Will." Oh. <laughs> So this is the elder of Itori Village, who's basically telling us he knew our father. A lot of people in this game knew our father. Apparently, the path that we traveled to get to the Tower of Babel is near exactly the same one that Will's father took. Oh, that's right. You, they, your mom told you that he went up that path or was going up that mountain. Yeah, I think your mother's actually from this village too, and I'm surprised Will doesn't remember it because it was about two years ago, and Will went with him. That's. Hmm. Things up with Will, so you can you can keep telling him no, and it just won't progress the story. Mm -hmm. I love those choices, <laughs> yeah. the ones that aren't actually choices. So in order to uh, pass the Incan ruins, is best going to get to a part in the ruins where we need two statues to proceed. Now here, I tried to be a jackass and jump down, but I kind of glitch out by accident. Uh. <laughs> so you know, thankfully I've switched to Sony Vegas in the time since recording the last two updates, which is way easier to use than Pinnacle, so I can actually do transitions and shit now. So, uh, we have to find the Incan, uh, statue, which is hidden somewhere. Is it, wow, like, just within these walls? Oh. You hear that different sound effect oh, when you yeah. hit that? Yeah. God, and Wind of the Past is the only other game where I know they've used that mechanic. Yep, and particularly now that we have the Psycho Dash. Oh, we can now right. use that to break open walls, as well as destroy. Um, remember those statues in the first cave we were in that we moved with uh, by twirling. The, oh yeah, you can we, just, just we can destroy now destroy those. them too. Nice. So the statue is blinking for, <laughs> for some reason. That's interesting. It blinks. I'm not sure if they're trying to simulate the eyelids closing, but it's doing just sort of a. I think it's supposed to be the eyes glowing, but they always looked like it always just kind of looked like a chibi-fied version of a statue, just like blinking. Right. Yeah. 
kind of suck to be just stuck there on the side of the town where no one else is. <laughs> you know, the only people who come to see you are those who are crazy enough to run down the slopes and jump <laughs> a giant fucking crevice. I guess you get to see that and a nice view, but still. Yeah. Hmm. There's one more. Yep, we are going to be meeting up with the Moon Tribe, who are an interesting part of the game. They show up in multiple places. They're those kind of um, cotton candy looking things that give us advice. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we ran into one of them in the uh, in the prison. Right. Oh, okay, that was the Moon Tribe. Huh. <laughs> what stop? We we can't go without Kara trying to butt in as well. <laughs> Everything. You want to see? I don't think you want to see and hear everything, sister. I do like that they give her the, you know, they kind of break the uh, spoiled rich girl trope right off the bat by actually making her want to be knowledgeable about the world. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. <laughs> but she is still selfish. <laughs> gonna be a long dangerous mode 70 track yes games that love using mode 7 love using mode 7 oh my god there's so much mode 7 in this game <laughs> yeah see oh. i accidentally <laughs> accidentally <laughs> cut out the dialogue there but it's basically says you come to an empty clearing Oh, uh, okay. Love this choice. <laughs> Bird man. Cotton Candy's relative. What? Which means oh. Cotton Candy can have kids, and Cotton Candy can fuck. Oh. So here they start talking about the comet, and there's a small nod to Soul Blazer. Oh, because the comet was one of the weapons used at the very end of Soul Blazer. Oh. Okay, so there definitely is a it's not spiritual successor. There is definitely a there's definite connection between all these all these games. Yep. And I have no idea what the hell that guy is trying to say. Cuckoo, cuckoo. They usually like that type of laugh. I've seen that kind of like. Well, I mean, I mean more like he just says a cry but Do you know where you want to go? Oh, oh. They, yeah. they speak very crypticly, and I don't know if that was just maybe they didn't translate it well, all that great, or maybe they were kind of obscure talking people to begin with. Yeah, a lot of localizations in this day were kind of. Nope, not the best. They were, they were, these aren't bad. This is not bad either. But it's no, just these a, were, these were the first ones where I'm like, is this intentional or? Yeah. Are they? It's like, or what the fuck? I've lost in translation here. Still impressive. All, all localizers now and back then, you know, kudos to all of you for doing your best. Amen to that. So, yeah, apparently all the monsters in this game are former humans or creatures who were touched by the comet's light. Whoa. So, we have 20 seconds to kill, I believe, seven of these guys. Um, the game, the game kind of, you know, leads you into thinking, oh, I can do Psycho Dash. But it, it won't. While it's true that the Psycho Dash will take them out in one hit, uh -huh. the charge time means you'll only get about four of them uh, killed before time runs out. Huh. So it's in contrast to the last one where they clearly want you to realize what Psycho Dash could do. Right. Do they just allow you to redo it over and over again until you get it? Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's no penalty for it. Okay. I think you got to leave the cave and go talk, go talk to them again. Huh. So yeah. Now that we have them, we can go to the Incan Ruins, but I, I like the idea that you could go to the ruins and not have the statues and have to backtrack, but they don't they don't give you that option. Oh, okay. Okay, so I uh, split, the, split the update here, so we'll see you in part two. Okay.